Hello and welcome to another episode of Michael Insight. Today I'm going to talk about a subject called the Drama Triangle. The Drama Triangle is a based in three components. There's the persecutor, the victim and the rescuer. That's why it's called a triangle. But full more as to why it's a triangle is because it's kind of enclosed. So you've got three points but it's enclosed. And as I go through the topic today, you'll start to understand how it's enclosed. I'm bringing up the topic today because it is so crucial to how relationships interact. It's another fine dynamic, how we interact with each other. As I go through the topic and talk about each component and try to give more perspective and insight, I want you to try to imagine each component. So as I go through the roles, I want you to think about the different times you've seen someone in that role. You could have been you could have been observing an argument. You could have been in the argument yourself, being one of the roles. It is quite a deep topic. Um it can get quite intense and but that is the reason why it is so important that people get a good insight into the drama triangle. So what is the drama triangle? Well, it's uh, in three components, which I'm going to go through each of them now. And it's the persecutor, the victim, and the rescuer. And what happens is we get into altercations where we will take on one of these roles. But the the travesty if you like of what what usually happens is with the drama triangle is it tends to interchange so the roles interchange you could be the persecutor one minute but be the victim the next you could be the victim one minute but be the rescuer or the persecutor the next that's part of the reason why it's not just dramatic but it's a triangle. It's enclosed and it is very hard to shake off. It's very hard to break free. Which then again increases the drama. But it's very important to identify these roles. See these roles as they're happening. Because the quicker that you see this the quicker you can try to see that actually you could possibly be getting nowhere with the heated exchange, the argument, the fight, whatever situation it is, because unfortunately the drama triangle, or just drama in general, and then you've got this enclosure that is the drama triangle, it can cause a lot of divide and a lot of destruction when it comes to relationships. So the persecutor then, what is the persecutor? It's basically going after someone and it could be insulting them, you could be degrading them, you could be violently attacking them. The guilty party, shall we say, in the crime. Then there's the victim. Well, the person who has been victimized by the persecutor or the persecution. And they tend to be the innocent party in the crime. And then you've got the rescuer. The font of all common sense in that moment in time. The person that comes in to try to calm things down. They may or may not take a side. They may just try to rationalize the situation. But their ultimate goal is to try to make sure that this heated exchange doesn't grow any further. I did say though that the roles can interchange. What can happen very quickly is that if you take the persecutor and the victim, that goes back and forth. You know, if you see people arguing back and forth. Imagine like in a child child in a child's playground playground. He did this to me. No, no, you started it. You know, it's a bit like that. But it doesn't really stop, does it? I mean, we'll see it in adults. 
you'll have someone who took a toy. So if you take take child's place, for example, you've got someone who's got a toy, uh, another boy or girl likes that toy, and they take the toy. It wasn't theirs, uh, so they have therefore persecuted that child that had the toy uh, by taking away from them. Because uh, and, and, that's very nasty, isn't it? Therefore, that child that had the toy is now the victim of that cho- to- child that's taken their toy. So then you would like to think that a teacher will come in and be the rescuer. Try to rationalise the situation, get to the bottom of who started what, whose toy was it, blah de blah blah That's a simple example of it. But let's get real. Anyone who's listening to this will have known that we adults are very complex beings. Um, we take it to a different level compared to children. We add words which complicate things. We add well, complex language which therefore complicates ling- things. And um, unfortunately we can get into fights as well. Now obviously children in playgrounds can, can get fighting as well but um, I don't think any children are going to go to jail. Uh, it's, it's, it's rare a child would go to jail for what they do in a playground. Um, they wouldn't actually go to jail, they would just go to some other uh, institution. But we adults have a way of not understanding each other. We have uh, a very poor insight into the general systems theory that I spoke in another video, or the open systems theory. Input, throughput, output, that's happening s- too damn quick. It's happening too damn quick within the JAMA triangle. Persecutor hears or sees something of someone else, uh, they think probably not very much. Their output, their behaviour is to persecute that it could be insulting another person. The other person therefore comes, therefore becomes a victim of that persecute of, of that insult, and their throughput is well they hear it first of all, and then the, th- the throughput is telling them. Well, this is not this is not good, and then they react through an output behaviour. That then goes back and forth, back and forth. Let's just for the argument's sake say it's just one big giant argument. Whenever I'm talking about this, try and imagine seeing this. Try and imagine being in that position. Have you been a persecutor? Have you been a victim? of any kind of time where it was really just quite unjust or you loved someone so much that maybe you went over the overstepped the mark what again is crucial about this is approach expression maybe speak about that in a different video but again you don't you don't get the drama triangle unless there's something wrong with the approach and the expression that's just a fact. Because the other person is only, only going to react to an approach and an expression. So, I've mostly spoken about the persecutor and the victim, but what about the rescuer? Well, yeah, the rescuer is a vital part of this, but they get drawn in. They can get this triangle is not a right angle triangle, it is. is um, a interchangeable sizing tri- a triangle which is constantly folding in on itself um, depending on the characters of course, the behaviour uh, the rationale all these things uh, just give you a bit of a visualisation of how complicated this thing can actually get the rescuer is not exempt to being interchanged in the roles. They can be coming in with very good intentions. They can come in to diffuse the aggression of the situation. Diffuse the situation from getting from escalating any further. I think that is the motivation of the rescuer. If it wasn't they wouldn't be the rescuer. But in the heat of a moment when they try to come in and rationalise the a few things can happen. They persecutor can feel threatened 
that this rescuer has come in and started to take the victim's side. Now, 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 objectively speaking, that might not actually be the case. They might just be trying to stop a fight, and they've not deliberately tried to take anyone's side. But people perceive things. <laughs> people perceive things in all sorts of ways in a heated exchange, and I'm sure people will have their own experiences and their own ideas of how other people have done that. So the rescuer comes and says, right, come on, let's stop this. What do you mean, come on, says the persecutor. Side. And then the rescuer's like, no, no, I'm not. I'm, I, I just felt maybe you were going a bit overboard. What do you mean he's going overboard, says the victim. <laughs> the victim has now become the persecutor of the rescuer. So remember, it, love is in the middle of this, getting beaten up by all these people. It's in the air. It's motivated people. And they don't really know how to express themselves properly. I kind of mentioned about expression and approach. Without any expression or approach, we're not having any of this drama. Because until there's an approach and an expression, there can't be any drama. You might as well just watch paint dry. If there's any paint there at all. That might be too dramatic. If it's actually paint, just stare into an abyss. So there has to be something. A reaction, an action, an action, reaction, whatever. That is the only way you're going to get drama. Now, that is how we, as human beings, we have to interact. We have to act. We have to behave. Open system theory. It happens all the time. People's interpretation. People will have previous, previous uh, experiences with people where they will... Uh, learn that other people can misinterpret them. They have their own preconceived ideas. Put them all together, you get you build character, you build personality, and that person is defined by other people usually, but they can define themselves as well if they're very open and expressive. People's approach and expressive can go overboard and is like antagonizing or provoking where people can feel threatened and then they react. But unfortunately, if people don't know about the drama triangle, how can they identify it? How can they break free from the drama triangle if they don't know the roles, typical roles involved, typical behaviors? And just how it imprisons them, imprisons the people involved, and how things don't really get solved. I want to give people a bit of a tip. Drama is everywhere, and drama sells, and it will sell you out, big time. And people are only too happy to give away their money. People watch movies all the time, films, and... Uh, they watch soap operas on TV or, you know, whatever. Um, I'm not bashing anyone that just wants, just wants to sit and watch television. Personally, I think it's a waste of time. Most of it, 99% of it, I think is a waste of time. I may go on another video about television, etc., but not today. Uh, basically, um, the TV producers know that the drama sells... And they use the drama triangle very well. How many times have you seen someone come in and they start talking about some situation, the other person gets touchy about it, what do you mean so and so? They've then overreacted, they become a persecutor on the person that's trying to help them. So you've got someone talking to them, they're trying to be a rescuer because they see they've got an issue, they've got a problem with. Then the person who's perceived to have had the issue, then start to persecute the person who was the rescuer, they then become the victim. They then react, uh, or maybe, maybe they don't react. Maybe someone in the background then s who's defensive of the original rescuer then goes in and starts persecuting the original persecutor. And then all of, all of a sudden you've got a triangle there. And then uh, maybe the rescuer then starts to persecute the, the third person because they don't want them fighting the battles for them. So, you can see there that they've had 
all sorts of different interchanges there. You've got a rescuer going in to talk to a person. That person's then became the persecutor. The rescuer then becomes the victim. Then you've got a third person coming in trying to rescue the first person. And then... And they've, they've they've rescued them by trying to persecute the original persecutor. But then the rescuer, the original rescuer, then starts to make, to persecute the second rescuer and then making them a victim. And, and on and on and on it goes. You can see where it's going. And I think uh, to draw a close on today's video is to recognise. Recognise these roles. Have a think. Think about an exchange where that happens. Break it down into the roles. Which role do you mostly suit? Which role do you think other people are are quite commonly known as? Or maybe not known as, but which role do they commonly take on? This is very important because anyone listening to this and they're having relation problems, then they all need to have a, a good tech together and, and really come to a consensus of what these things rules are do they recognize themselves so we're looking at the first person do they recognize themselves what about the second person you the opposite person do i see any of the rules in you and then there's, you need to take on the objective person the third person what would other people see me or you which role would they most commonly see and people tend to be more, people can certainly have the potential to be persecutors, rescuers, or victims, definitely. But people tend to skew towards one or the other. Bullies, for example, are persecutors, right? We know that. But why are they, how are they bullies and why are they bullies? Because they've perhaps been a victim of bully, uh, bullying themselves. But, you know, sometimes... Being a victim of bullying does grow out, but they still maintain that behaviour of bullying. So throughout their lives, they're more commonly known as a bully. Maybe they want to be a bully, but then how do you change it? How do you recognise it? This is how you recognise it. You recognise yourself. You have Very important people take a lot of reflection. This is a very deep topic. It's very hard stuff. And people need to recognise... Uh, the need to reflect because as I say you've got to take the third, the second, the third person that's hard work people don't naturally have the ability to just do that but if you can do that in all three perspectives definitely you're on the right track to actually improving relationships ideally you want to be sitting down with the people who are who are mostly involved in the heated exchanges as i say it's usually heat, heated exchanges between family members and friends i mentioned about approach and expression some people feel threatened by the idea of talking about roles oh do you know that what's happening right now this is the drama triangle people will look at you and go nobody likes a smart ass or people feel threatened by complicated language or, you know, jargon. Like the drama triangle. What do you mean the drama triangle? What are you trying? You're trying to teach me? You're trying to lecture me? Yep. There you go. Hear it? They feel they're victimised because they feel threatened. They're not consciously aware that they're feeling threatened or that they feel they're a victim. They don't think this. Going back to the open system theory, they are reacting. They're reacting to something that doesn't f sit with them right, has made them very uncomfortable. And it could be something as stupid as saying something like the drama triangle. Because maybe people just don't like to be told that they like drama. But we must ask ourselves this question. Ask yourself this question. Do you like drama? No, I don't like fighting. That's not the question question was do you like drama the chances are if you watch soaps or if you watch dramas and you th you're a filmy person and you love you love the ins and outs the ups and downs of a good film especially chick flicks things like that you know 
you probably, because you're exposed to the drama, you may find that your life is quite dramatic. It might not be, but I'm saying that people who, the more you're exposed to drama, just like you're more you're exposed to anything, the more susceptible you can be. I said can be, not automatically are. But people need to have a good think. Can you handle the amount of drama in your life? When you go to work, whatever work that be, maybe paid work, voluntary work, stay at home work, whatever work it is, there's probably going to be an element of drama with it because the vast majority of people will not love their jobs, but like the jobs and that's great, a good positive outlook. But there's going to be bad points about the job and there's going to be drama. Do you have enough drama at work? Do you need any more drama in your life? You will go through drama with your personal life. Because humans will always fight, especially the ones... like The closer you are to someone, the chances are you're going to have arguments. You're going to have disagreements and you're going to have fights. That's why it's absolutely crucial that people gain a better insight into the components and, and ideas uh, and perspectives, such as the drama triangle. It's been a bit of a good video today. I really hope a lot of people got into insight on that. Please leave your comments below. Any incidents you've ever had, you know, please please give it any suggestions at all. You know, just give it any questions you got, just ask. And you know, we're really interested, really want to build people's insight here. It's not just about me or anyone that's listening. Just give your own insight. Give your own insight into your experiences. Especially with the drama triangle. And if there's anything related to the drama triangle or today's video, you know, leave a comment to say what you would like uh, perhaps to be spoken about in a future video. Thanks for listening today. Remember to always breathe in insight and breathe out freedom. This is Michael Insight. Michael out.